Let's take a DAG written for Airflow and move its logic into pure software-defined assets in Dagster. While doing so, we will cover our recommendations and best practices while refactoring. Before diving in, it is important that we make sure we know the right lingo between Airflow and Dagster. Thankfully, if you head on over to our documentation, click on integrations, and navigate to the Airflow page, you have some resources prepared for you. Here is a table that covers similar terminology between Airflow and Dagster, along with our differences. The big ones are worth highlighting for this migration are that there are no operators in Dagster. We use normal Python functions, which allow us to test our logic better. IO managers are Dagster's way to set up connections with external services, such as Amazon S3. These are similar to XCOMs and hooks, but are more powerful. This creates for less overhead when dealing with data that is large, complex, or in separated systems. You'll also see how it leads to cleaner code. And once again, it's easier to test. Assets are Dagster's bread and butter. Dagster has extensive metadata-driven features built around assets, such as partitions, lineage, and declarative scheduling. You may have tried Airflow's datasets, but software-defined assets will help you enjoy working with your data pipelines again. Now that you know the concepts, we can start talking about patterns for refactoring the Airflow logic into its analogous Dagster code. We will refactor our DAG one task at a time to use less Airflow code and more of Dagster's concepts, piece by piece, without breaking production. Because of our Dagster Airflow utility package, we can connect newly made assets with the assets that are made from the Airflow DAG. In this case, we'll start from the beginning of the DAG and work sequentially one task at a time to the end of the DAG, replacing each piece of it. Using this pattern, we can replace the Airflow task with Dagster assets at our own pace. Let's go see this in action. Here's the DAG whose logic we'll be refactoring today. There are two tasks. One task queries Hacker News for all IDs for the current top stories and saves this list into an AWS S3 bucket. The next task reads that newly made file, iterates through the IDs, and gets the titles for each story. Let's start taking our logic out of Airflow and moving it over to Daxter. Here is our starting point. We are using another utility function from our Dagster Airflow package called load assets from Airflow DAG, which helps you start thinking about your existing data pipelines as assets. You can map tasks in your original Airflow DAG into assets in Dagster and create dependencies to any assets. You can see this mapping in these two parameters. Use this when you're ready to migrate an individual DAG's logic over. Keep using that function that Odette showed you earlier to move all of your DAGs over, and use this one once you're ready to make the most out of Dagster with an individual DAG and you're ready to refactor. Here is that DAG represented as assets in the Dagster UI. Like this asset over here is made up of a task in Airflow code, and we are going to take this one and migrate this logic over to being purely Dagster native. Let's cut and paste this task from the Airflow section and move it over to a new function in our Daxter project. Now we'll clean up this code to make it into a true software-defined asset. We'll first add the asset decorator, then we'll return the IDs rather than sending them to S3, because now we can use IO managers, which we talked about recently, to deal with reading and writing data for us. Finally, we'll patch up the asset dependencies so that our new asset replaces the old asset made by our utility function. Once those steps are finished, let's run it to test that it works. See that since we added the asset and removed the old task, it works just like it did before. This is code that can be readily pushed to production, meaning that you can take your time and you don't have to do this refactor all in one sweep. Once you val validate that logic produces the right output, you can move on to refactor the next task. Once you've migrated all of your Airflow DAG to software-defined assets, now you can feel the satisfaction of deleting the old Airflow code and depending purely on Daxter. Mm -hmm.